1.30 in the afternoon on Monday, September 26th now, 2022. And I am setting up for the Auburn Fair. Uh, it's actually called the DeKalb County Fair. It's in Auburn, the city of Auburn, Indiana. And uh, official opening time is 5 o'clock, so I'm here three and a half hours early, but it looks like everybody set up last night. I am kind of late to the game, but I had to finish up the Apple Festival. The fire marshal actually would not let me pull my truck in here. So uh, a couple of staffers with their gas-powered, uh, they call them gators, their gas-powered golf carts with little truck beds on them, loaded up all my stuff and just drove it in here and it helped me unload it right here on the curb. So big kudos to uh, the staff out here at the DeKalb County Fair, I'm saying it right. And uh, right here behind me is the courthouse. So this fair has been going on for getting close to a hundred years and they don't do it at a fairgrounds. They just block off streets, set it up right in the middle of the town square and go to town. And uh, got local businesses right there on either sides of the street with the big food trucks and games right in front of them. Hey, the <laughs> it's me. There's the homeless guy. It's me, the homeless guy. <laughs> How you doing, man? That's the uh, wood-fired pizza guy. I, I've seen him, and this is the third fair I've seen him at now. Really good-natured guy. Uh, yeah, you make friends after you've done the circuit for a while. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I still got, I gotta be set up by five o'clock. I'd like to be set up an hour early. All right, let's get busy setting up. All right, seven dollars is gonna be your change. Thank you, man. Thank you, enjoy. We got some additional, but, well, yeah, sorry, yours, yours didn't. It has it on there when it gets smoked, but yeah. it, it tends to get absorbed, uh, so it's not very saucy. But if you'd like some additional, there's spicy, a signature, and a Carolina sauce. Seven o'clock now, only two hours after opening, and this is what we got. This is a Monday. I've already done a few drawings. I'm going to say that's a good sign. You see, I'm in three layers right now, too. It's actually gotten cold out here. It feels like the middle of October, even though it's still the middle of uh, September. Maybe it's just because it just rained. It's been raining off and on all day. Right now it's uh, Friday morning and notice this right here. Once again there is a sign posted saying no animals in the shower. With an exception for service dogs. Am I completely out of touch? Why have I been to two campgrounds now, one right after the other with a posted sign saying not to take your animal into the shower with you? Who's taking their animals into the shower with them and why? You know what, maybe they're not taking the animal into the shower with them as much as they're trying to wash their animal in the shower. That would be the only thing that would make sense. But there are so many other alternatives for doing that. You've got water hookups right next to your camper. Just hook up a hose and wash them right there. Okay, okay, I, I gotta get to work. Right at two o'clock on a Friday now, it's finally warmed up after that cold snap that pretty much ruined all of Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday was picked up. Today, nice and mild, beautiful, and I'm busy. A busy artist is a happy artist. All right. Yeah. Fair just closed up Friday night, and it was awesome. It was great. Somebody's on a hoverboard there. Yeah, um, I have to count it up, but I'm betting I beat this night last year. And it's good to be making money again after that terrible cold snap. Just trying to get into work today. This 
This is the busiest side over here. You can see the uh, dealer tent right there. It seems to be like the epicenter. And the other character artist is somewhere right in here next to that. So I'm sure he's getting plenty of business. Whew. It's 11.45 now. Official close-up time was 11. Just finished with my last customer. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you can see this is what things are looking like now. Big old box trucks. They're trying to hitch up while the this game is still here. As a matter of fact, the people that own this booth right here, that's their hitch. And that's my tent. They're ready for me to get packed up and moved out so they can get their game out of here as well. This is on a road. It's not a fairground. So they want to get this road open back up. Look at that. They're, they, they're, they're pushing a, this corn truck, a, a corn dog truck out by hand. So shoving it on out there so they can get to the hitch. All right, I gotta stop talking. It was a good day. It was another marathon Saturday. That's the third marathon Saturday in a row. Happy about that. Also very worn out. Hands are very tired. There's the, t the tear offs. It was good. I'm gonna say almost a guaranteed marker drop. Probably beat last year on Saturday. Didn't run out of paper this year. That's good. Learned my lesson. Stocked up on the paper. Didn't run out of paper. <laughs> All right. It's 1.45 now and we are done. We don't have these back in Tennessee, as far as I know. It's after church. I'm hungry, and I want a Chicago-style hot dog. Let's see if they have them. Turnstile doorway. Yes, they do have the Chicago-style hot dogs. Hopefully they have sweet tea, too. Looks like this is where the magic is done. No soup for you! Soup Nazi was here. There it is, the Chicago style hot dog. This place is very Chicago in that they did not even have sweet tea. It was um, unsweet, and then they give you the sweetener, even though it doesn't dissolve in tea that's got ice in it. So I had them do a uh, lemonade with the unsweet, so that, that came out okay. All right, let's see how this tastes. How do they find a relish that has that vibrant of a green to it? I don't think I've seen that in the grocery stores. That's the taste of a Chicago hot dog right there. Disaster has struck. That just happened. I was uh, coming up the exit right there. My RV resort is right there. That's the, the turn in. The sun was directly in my eyes. Didn't realize that that was not a stripe for the middle of the road. I thought it was a stripe for the middle of the road, so I was getting over one more. The sun was right in my eyes, right there. And uh, hit the curb pretty hard and knocked my tire off. And uh, so I'm not sure what to do now. I've never called a tow truck before. It's Sunday afternoon. 
Never called a tow truck before. Don't really know what to do at this point. But I got my insurance. I'm going to try to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, he's here. Silver Sable. First time she's had her own ride. All right, to the camper. five o'clock on Tuesday now and yeah that was an ordeal um, because the body shop wasn't open on Sunday night they had the truck towed to a holding lot for Sunday night and then on Monday morning well actually it was Monday night before they finally got it towed to the official body shop that was in the uh, insurance network and finally got a call from the adjuster a few hours ago uh, at well, a few minutes ago. Um, and it looks like it is going to be fixable, but uh, they're not going to be able to get it done, get it on the rack and get it fixed until probably Friday, which is going to make me make it where I'm not going to be able to pick it up until next week. So I would miss um, the Fall Foliage Festival and all the money I could earn there, and I've already paid for it. So on recommendation from some friends... I have rented a U-Haul. It's the first time I've ever done that. I Ubered over here to the U-Haul place, just put down the, the money and the deposit on this, I think he said it was a 26-footer, and I'm about to climb up in there 
turn the key and drive this giant thing that it seems like I should have to have a special license in order to drive it. But they just handed me the key and said, go for it. All right. Uh, the plan is go over to the body shop and clean everything out of the back of the truck, all the equipment, and put it into the U-Haul. Go to the campground, hitch up to the camper, and then drive this all the way over to the fall foliage, which I believe is in Martin, Martinsville, Indiana, 180 miles away, and then somehow be ready to go and set up by Thursday morning. Wow, the things we go through. I really feel like I'm handling this in a mature way, honestly. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord, this key is a weird. All right. Okay, it cranks. There's some kind of screen right here. Oh, there's an onboard GPS. Fuel economy. It looks like we're at half a tank, so as long as I return it with the half a tank. Look at that. There's even a meter for when you need your next oil change. Going to drive this around the parking lot, maybe a loop, try to get used to the turning radius. I cannot see out the bit. Look at that, there's my rear view mirror um, view right there. You can't see out the back. Just have to use these giant side, side mirrors. It's 6.30 now. I had to double back and switch out the U-Haul because the one they, the first one they gave me was having trouble misfiring or downshifting or something, just lurching. Uh, but they got me set up with one that is riding smooth. Found the body shop, found my truck, that's it right there. So now it's a matter of getting all of this into here. Alright, let's do it. Well, I got it all in there. So little of it whenever it's in the truck so big. But now I gotta go back to the camper and get my spare key because they locked the cab. I didn't realize it until everybody left. It's the next morning now and I've got the camper hooked to the U-Haul and I've tested the lights. Took some maneuvering to get this back here. I've never driven a U-Haul this long, 26 feet before, but I got it. We're hooked up and uh, camper's locked. I'm already seeing how once I go pull, to pull out of here, I might end up running over this. I don't want to do that. I have to pull straight. You know what, when they say, work out of your comfort zone, um, this is exactly that. This is working so far out of my comfort zone. Leaving my truck here, driving four hours to do a festival that I've never done before in a vehicle, the length of which I've never driven before, towing my camper, precious, precious cargo. The Dashiell's even a little freaked out. <clears throat> I know, buddy. I don't know about this. I've arrived, but I'm afraid to... Your destination is on the... Okay, we're through the limbs. Dashiell's freaked out. I'm freaked out. Now we gotta go across the dam. And there's the house right there. All right, God, please get me across here, okay? Couldn't get it right where we wanted it with the 26-foot uh, U-Haul, so we're going smaller scale. Just like that, the camper is in place. It's a little bit after seven o'clock now, and I have uh, settled into the camper. The dashel is doing just fine. Aren't you, buddy? <sighs> and uh, that is such a relief. So here we are. The show must go on. And uh, so, I go and set up at the festival and then return the U-Haul tomorrow 
I think Beth uh, might have a vehicle for me to borrow during festival time. Got word that the truck will be fixed by the 10th, which is Monday. So then I've got to find a way to get back to um, Auburn, Indiana to pick it up. But as for right now, we are set and ready to work at the festival this weekend. And uh, so that's about the happiest ending I can put on this one. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to indicate so by giving me the good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on all notifications. I look forward to reading your comments and replying to some of them. And I also look forward to seeing you in the next one.